Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Sarasota, Florida and we're in a community called Worthington and we are checking out Cardell Homes, which is what we see behind us. The home behind us is a four bedroom, three bathroom home with 3,308 square feet. As you can see right there on the sign, it's called the Savannah. Um, you can build one like this for about $1.5 million and that's all in with the lot and also upgrades, similar upgrades to what we see inside. Um, and that is of June 2nd, 2022. Now, if you're interested in buying it and you're watching this later, make sure you give us a call. My number is 407. 487 3030 and I can get you in touch with one of the most one of the experts in this area that will be able to tell you what the prices are, what the current prices are, and help you out with finding a home. So let's go ahead and take a look at this home. So as we come up, obviously it's a very, very beautiful home. It's very wide for a home. So it's a single story home. And as you can see, it goes out a pretty wide thing. So you need an actual big lot for this to work, but it has some really beautiful elevations, uh, some really cool architectural work, and of course the slate roof. Um, over here is the three car garage. It's currently being used as an office. So so when this is all done, they'll have the paved driveway going all the way out here. And of course, they'll have the regular garage doors here, the three car garage. So then as we come through and we see the tropical landscaping on either side and this really cool blind feature as we come into the actual entryway that is covered, um, we see this really nice door with nice like bluish gray color. So let's go ahead and go inside and check out the rest of the home. All right, so welcome into this beautiful home. So as I close the door behind me, the first thing I notice are these beautiful floors. They look like actually engineered hardwood floors that go throughout in a really beautiful light color. Uh, of course, above me is gonna be a really nice light fixture that is in the tray ceiling. Um, and then to my right is actually the office. So let's go ahead and check the office. They do have these French doors. This, these doors are the exact same doors I have at my office at my house. Literally exactly the same thing. And then we come over here and we do see an office. You do have the window here looking out to the front of the home. Uh, nice uh, tropical wallpaper with those palm trees. And of course, a couple windows there for some natural light. And we do have the tray ceiling with the extra lighting above us as well. So let's go ahead and go the other way. Now, Haley, who's working the camera today, she'll show you what the view is when you walk in. So she's standing by the front door right now. So this is the view everyone will have when they come into your house, which is absolutely beautiful. You can see all the way through and of course, the really nice high ceilings and all the different architectural designs in the ceilings as well. So here to our to your left is going to be the formal dining room. It's currently set up for six people. Obviously, pretty huge table. You can easily fit more chairs around here if you want it. Um, and then they have this really nice wall with all this woodworking that really makes it pop with the little lights on either side. And of course, the coffer ceilings above us with the dark browns and the lights really make it pop. And of course, the recessed lighting in each. And of course, this really nice light fixture in the center of the dining room. Absolutely great looking, great looking dining room. So as we come through, we go into the actual great room or family room. So this is a really nice room. The ceilings are actually a little bit higher here. Um, and of course we see that same sort of architectural wall design with the woodworking over behind the TV. And then of course yeah, above us is absolutely beautiful. We have a tray ceiling. And in that tray ceiling, we have these wood beams going across with the dark brown colors. And then they have other wood beams that are painted white throughout the coffer ceiling. And of course there's really nice light fixture coming down. So really nice area, plenty of space here. And of course this is joined up with the kitchen and also the breakfast nook and of course the sliding glass doors looking out on the beautiful view. So here is the kitchen. So as we see the kitchen, we do have cabinets go really high with crown molding on the top. And of course these appliances, they do have that black stainless steel fingerproof, fingerprint resistant uh, coating on it. So that's really nice. This is KitchenAid, so high end quality uh, appliances. We do have the Center Island. Center Island is a really good size. They currently have it set up for a three person setup for like breakfast with these really nice pendant lights above the actual Center Island. Um, really nice woodworking throughout also. As we come here, we do see our KitchenAid oven and microwave combo with all the nice cabinets. And then we're gonna go ahead and go uh, to your left and show you the uh, butler's pantry. So as we come in through here, you can see we have some more drawers and cabinet space, really nice solid white uh, countertops and this beautiful, beautiful backsplash that you'll see in the kitchen. I'll definitely wanna point that out in the kitchen as well. Um, and then over to the right is gonna be a walk-in pantry. So you have plenty of space here for all your dry uh, storage. It also has all the uh, technical stuff for the home behind here as well for all your internet and all that sort of stuff. So as we come over here, let's talk about the actual main part of the kitchen. So also we have that solid white countertop and these really nice cabinets with sort of like a bronze color uh, hardware throughout, but the backsplash, I thought the backsplash on this was something that really stood out. So we have the backsplash that's a beautiful backsplash with light grays and whites throughout in this really beautiful shape. 
but not only does it stop like right here, it continues to go and you can see it in these little shelves where you can put little decor in it. And then even above the actual crown molding, going all the way up to the ceiling, that same backsplash goes all the way up there. They really did a great job in actually making this complete. So here we do have a five gas burner. Um, and of course we do have it vented out, which is sort of hidden behind all this nice cabinet work that we have. On this other side, we see that we do have the sink, really nice color and real high tech faucet. Um, and then we do have our dishwasher, which is also a kitchen aid dishwasher. So as we continue to take the tour, we go into the breakfast nook, currently set up for five people. Uh, really high ceilings here as well. And of course, these really nice picture windows that get you the views of the outside, the swimming pool, the outside living room, and of course, that pond behind us that is absolutely amazing. The actual lot they have available is right next door. We'll actually go out there and show you that as well if you are interested in buying this home. So here we come over. This is the media room. So this is the hangout area where you can sit around, watch TV um, right over here, play, play games, whatever you want to do, you know, have guests over. Um, of course, it's the back of the home. So you do have the view of the pond back here as well. Um, this one does have a bathroom that can be used as the pool bath. So as we go through this little hallway, we do have a door going out to the pool area, which is really nice and convenient because if anyone's out there swimming, they can come through this door and they come right over here. And then they have a full bathroom uh, with this really beautiful shower, frameless shower, fr frameless glass. Um, and of course, beautiful tile work and the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. And that tile also matches the tile on the floor here with these cabinets that match the cabinets in the kitchen. Also the solid white countertops and mirror and light. So really nice, uh, nice uh, thing. We do have a towel closet here as well, as you can see. So you can have all the towels, especially really nice and convenient right next to the pool. Um, and then this bathroom, this full bath would be used for this bedroom right over here. So as we come through here, this will be bedroom number two. Um, I sort of like the colors here, like sort of like peachy colors. So I think they've done a good job as far as how the colors match with these grays and these uh, peach colors. Um, little stars on the actual uh, blanket as well. So really cool interior design, simple and just well done. Now on the other side, we do have a closet. Uh, this is just one that you just pull open. And of course you have some really nice space there as well. So let's go ahead and go back out this way and then we'll take a right and go back through the kitchen. So if you haven't done already, make sure you like the video. Also subscribe to our channel. We definitely appreciate it. Both me and Haley appreciate all the support that we get. And we will respond to all the comments, even though sometimes it takes us a couple weeks to get there. We will respond to all those comments as well. So as we come over here, we're gonna go uh, right and then we're gonna pass uh, bedroom number three and then we're going to bedroom number four. So again, bedroom number four is done really nice, real tasteful design as far as this bedroom goes with some nice grays and whites going all the way around. And then of course we do have also a closet on this side, as you see, really good high quality carpet also in these bedrooms. And then this one does have a Jack and Jill sort of set up with the bathrooms. We do have this here, which slides open. If you just do that, so you have a slide open and closed door. And then we come into the actual bathroom. This does have the dual sinks. Also really that really nice quality uh, faucets that we saw in the kitchen. The mirrors with a nice frame and of course the light fixture. On this other side, we have a separate door that you can open and close. And then you open it up and it takes you into the toilet and also the tub shower combo as tiles going all the way up to the ceiling. And then we come through, there's another door here. So if the person in this bedroom, bedroom number uh, four or three, uh, doesn't want to uh, actually uh, have this open, they can easily close that. Uh, and then the bedrooms three and four sort of separate it. So as we come back here, uh, we see this bedroom. Uh, it's got a nice bed here. And of course behind us, some really nice tropical wallpaper as well. And some really old vintage camera artwork for some reason. Uh, we also do have um, another closet here. Um, this one's got all their seasonal stuff already in there. Um, and then let's go ahead and take a right and go down to the next stop, which would be the laundry room. So as we go into the laundry room, we see that nice, beautiful tile that we saw in the uh, bathrooms as well. And as we come here, we have our washer, dryer, nice shelves. And of course we have the sink. The sink has that same color that we saw in the kitchen. And of course all the cabinets match everything. So everything here matches. I like these shelves as well. And even this little light over the sink, I thought it was a nice touch. This door goes to the three car garage. Currently they're using it as an office. So you can see that it has wood floor in there, but that would actually be a garage. So let's go ahead and go right across to the primary bedroom. Now, again, if you're interested in buying or selling anywhere in Florida, make sure you give us a call. My name is Mike and it's 407-487-3030. So here we are 
primary bedroom suite, this whole side of the house. So let's go ahead and go into the bathroom first. So you see we had this really nice shower. I love this frameless shower and even the actual brass hardware that we see in there. I think it really pops. And of course the tile work with the little tiny squares on the floor. And of course the tile work all the way up. We do have our dual shower, I should say. We have a shower on either side. And then we have a towel closet here. Fit a lot of towels in that. It's pretty big. And then I like this area because it has like two pedestal sinks. So you have the pedestal sink here with some plenty of storage. Everything matches throughout this whole house. And of course the circle mirror and the, uh, the like sort of bronze color light fixture, which goes really well with this wallpaper. And then if you look at the ceilings, uh, the ceiling in the bathroom actually has that coffer look with that dark brown and the white that we also saw in the other part of the house. And they have it in the bathroom. So that's pretty cool. We have our pedestal tub here, window looking out. And then of course on this other side, we have a matching sink uh, set up that we had on the other side. And then behind me is the water closet. So as we continue down this way, uh, we have two closets. So this one's the bigger closet of the two. We do have French doors on this one, so you can have plenty of space on here. And then on the other side, we do have a closet, a little bit smaller, but still a good size because it goes quite a ways back as well. Um, so it should be plenty of space for an average family as far as the amount of closet space that we have. And then we come to the primary bedroom suite, king size bed, huge end tables on either side with still plenty of space. We have this really nice wall that's got that wood um, woodwork going that's painted white. Um, and then of course above us is a, a tray ceiling with lots of crown molding and the recessed lights. We also have built-in speakers and of course this light fixture above us as well. This does look out to the pool and of course the beautiful, beautiful view that they have. So let's go ahead and go outside and check all out that uh, outside living area because it does have a summer kitchen out here and lots of living space. So come on out. And the first thing that we see is this little living room. It is covered. So you do have a covered area here set up as a living room, a little sitting area on this side. This is the door that goes into the um, that bathroom that we saw over by that media room. Um, and then of course we have this really nice, it looks like travestine tile work going all the way around. And then this is like a continued area the house is really long, so they actually extended the actual back of the house this way as well. So you have this little hangout area as well if you wanted to hang out here in the evening. I'd probably put a little fire pit here and make this my little fire pit hangout. Um, but then if you wanted to go take a dip in the pool, it's right here. We have all these little cool little fountains, little stairs going in right here, a little shelf over there. And of course, all of these little water fountains going throughout. And then that's not it. It continues a nice little covered dining area with the setup for six people and then a summer kitchen. So you have your barbecue, refrigerator sink, nice granite countertops, and of course the cabinets, everything outside on this beautiful day. But if you're interested in buying, they only have one lot left, which is right out here. It's actually the parking lot. So right where we park. So we parked right here. This will actually be the lot that's available. It goes quite back far, but I wanted to bring you out here because this will be the view that you have, which is right behind me. So. This is an absolutely beautiful view. You sort of have all this greenery and this uh, amazing pond view. So this would be the actual view you have from your backyard. And Haley's saying there's a duck. Yeah, there's a duck right there uh, as we go behind. So anyway, I wanna thank you all for watching and I will talk to you all next week. Take care, bye-bye.